Hi everyone and thank you for joining me on my channel for my new challenge slash series slash LP, however you want to call it, that's going to be based off of The Walking Dead. Um, calling, I'm thinking I'm calling it Walking Sims right now, but that might change. Uh, it's something that I've been wanting to do for a while. And I was inspired not only by the show, but by this lot here that was uh, found on the gallery. And I've changed it up just a little bit, just made it a little bit bigger. But it's based off of the prison that was shown on Walking Dead during the series. And if you watch the show, you know, at one point the characters stumble across a prison and they feel like this is like a perfect place to live and thrive and possibly build um crops and things of that nature. So the whole purpose of this challenge is to have a group of Sims that literally have nothing to do with each other. There is a mom and son, um, which I'm going to introduce them in a second, and just have them live off of the land and kind of thrive off of living off the land. They do not have any money. This is apocalyptic times. There's not supposed to be any Sims around, but there will be zombies walking around. So I had it in my mind that I kind of wanted to have actual Sims that look like zombies in my game, but the custom content just didn't work out for me. So if you see any Sims outside of the game, I mean, outside of this lot, we're just going to envision that they're zombies, if that makes any sense, or people that are infected with a disease. And these five people in here are the only healthy people left. Now, I will be probably switching it up every once in a while and adding some new Sims just to kind of, you know, spice it up a little bit. Uh, maybe we'll find some survivors. I'm using my air quotes. But Either way, this is a challenge. I'm going to be kind of like, I got some rules in my mind, but I'm going to kind of wing it. Um, one of the rules that's very, very important is they're all going to be in this prison and they're going to all survive off of the land, whether it's cro uh, building, um, I can't talk, whether it's um, planting crops or fishing or, you know, there's no stove, there's just a fridge, so they'll be eating cereal, things of that nature. They have no money right now, so they're pretty much just going to be winging it, okay? <laughs> and uh, also, eventually, I would like for them to kind of build up what they would feel like the society would be and maybe um, start getting collectibles and things of that nature so they can make like a museum. And I'm getting that a little bit off of the Animal Crossing challenge that I've watched on YouTube where people are like making museums and things like that. So I do want to throw that into this challenge as well. Another rule that I have, um, and I'll probably be explaining the rules as we go along, but if I do send my Sims out for anything in particular, if they happen to interact with another sim. I have deleted all the sims, but I know it's going to auto-generate some more sims. But if they do happen to interact with any sim outside of this lot, we're going to just consider them dead. I know that's kind of weird and they would just become an infected person. So they are going to have to leave every once in a while. Uh, the kids will not be going to school. There's a teenager and a little boy. They will not be going to school. Um, so they, But they will have to leave every once in a while just to go get you know, stuff. Um, and so things like that. So that is what's going to happen. And then when they do go out, they always have to go out in twos. So that is something to consider trying to make sure that we don't have them interact with anybody, <laughs> but each other when they're out the compound. So really quickly, I'm just going to give you an overview of the characters. Mr. Wade Neely here. He was a survivor that was found by the group. Um, He's an elder. Some of his uh, personalities, he's a bro. He's kind of gloomy, which, you know, it's understandable. He lost his wife and his family in this infected world. He's noncommittal because uh, right now he's thinking that, you know, I don't even want to make a commitment to anybody because I'm just going to lose them. And he's a collector. He's like one of his things is he wants to kind of salvage what's left in the world and um, so that they can have something to pass on to the generations. Um, Miss Aubrey Dale and her son Spencer Dale, um, they were found survivors and, you know, she just stay at home mom. She, her husband went off on a trip, never made it back home. So she doesn't even know if he's alive or dead or what's going on with him. But she, her and her son were able to make it out. And here is Mr. Spencer right here. 
Um, Aubrey is a family oriented. She's ambitious. She's a little childish. She likes to play around with her son and she's domestics. So she'll probably be very good to make sure that the kids get the homework and stuff done. Cause I am going to let them do their homework and just keep, you know, keep their studies up, even though they won't be going to school. Uh, Spencer, he is a squeamish. This whole world right now is just driving him crazy. He doesn't like anything that's going on right now. And so, you know, he just, that's just how he is. A uh, little teenager, Dahlia Goodman. She is loving the outdoors. She's also a collector and she's kind of a slob. She, you know, she's a teenager, but um, she just happened to survive on her own until she met the group. And I really don't have very much about her background, something that she keeps kind of private to herself. And then last but not least is Mr. Alan King, another soul survivor. <laughs> He is um, self-assured. He's a glutton. Uh, he's active and he also is uh, has an aspiration of being a collector. So all of them kind of, you know, they just kind of met each other and found this prison and just kind of made their way in here. And really quickly before I even get started, I want to make sure that the doors are locked. Okay, so that's locked. I just want to make sure really quickly. I think this one should be unlocked. This one should not be locked. Yeah. And then this one back here should be a lot. Uh oh. All right. So everything is locked. And then if we ever need to go out, I'll just probably just allow access to just those people. So really quickly, just an overview of the compound here. There isn't any electronic devices here besides electricity. Um, I had to, there was bars and stuff on this door, but I noticed that they weren't able to get into their bedrooms if they wanted to take a nap or sleep or whatever. Um, there's books there. I think there's a couple toys strewn around. Um, but for the most part, yeah, there's a couple toys here strewn around. Uh, there's an infirmary here, a lab, if they need to do any chemical type things, but right now no one can use those. I'm not even sure if I will be able to have an opportunity for them to use it. Um, and then over here, there's another up here for the beds really quickly. I'm going to have, uh, him, I'm gonna let the kids stay up here. So we're just going to have him claim his bed and have her claim a bed really quickly. And then the kids, I mean, the adults, I'm going to have them sleep downstairs. Uh, I just feel like that's probably the best thing to do. And if we ever find any more survivors, we'll just divvy out beds as needed. Um, so here's the, like the little kitchen area. There's just a refrigerator, like I said, so they'll just be eating cereal and stuff. And, and then down here, there's like a shower area. There are toilets in the individual, um, rooms, so uh, we'll, we'll see how this goes, though, because there's not like a lot of privacy. And over here is like a little security area uh, because this used to be a prison. There's cameras all over the place. The only thing that I added to as far as this goes is this little fishing pond because I found it very difficult for them to go out to fish for long periods of time. So we're just going to pretend like this prison had like a fishing pond on the inside of it. And the fish are jumping. Did you see them? Anyway, so it looks like Alan's over here talking with Dahlia right now. Maybe they're discussing some things or just getting to know each other. Um, Aubrey, it looks like she's up. Where is she at? She's somewhere up here. I guess I put these walls down here. She is, uh, look like she's about to talk to her son and say, hey, well, I found some toys for you to play with. He's going to play with them. Oh, poor Spencer. Um, and I definitely, she's going to probably make sure she stays on the kids about doing their homework. So what I'm going to have them do really quickly, like I said, they will not be going to school, but she will definitely make sure that they get on doing their homework. Um, oh, okay. We're going to act like they don't have phones. So act like you didn't see that. Looks like, uh, I forget his name. Just a quick wait. It's going upstairs, but really quickly before we get too acclimated, I'm going to let Alan, I think Alan is probably going to be like the impromptu leader of the group. I'm just going to have him go rummage around really quickly, see if he can find anything in these garbage cans because they really just got here and it's probably a good idea for them to see if there's anything here that they could use. Um, I don't think that they'll, he'll find too much. But uh, we'll do it anyway. Can I rummage through this trash can? I don't know if I can. Yeah, I can. So let's see if he finds anything. Uh, he found some food in the trash. It still seems edible-ish. So he has like a rummaged salad that it spoils in nine hours. So really quickly, I'm going to put this in the fridge. Uh, I don't know if anybody's going to want to eat that. Um, 
He also found rummaged oatmeal. That sounds really gross. <laughs> and he's like, really, guy? You sit there. Okay, let's just throw it away. Just throw it away for me. Ed's like, you know, I mean, uh, Alan's just like, look, dude, we got to get this started. And in the meanwhile, we have zero. Oh, there's a zombie, an infected person. We have zero dollars. At some point, we probably need to go out and um, look like he also found some more salad. And we definitely need to go get some crops and things of that nature. What I'm probably going to do is, uh, I don't know, I don't see any crops that are available right now. I do see quite a bit of people out about um but I don't see any crops right now that are available. So um, I see some frogs and something. Oh, there's a bunch of infected people right here. It's so funny because I deleted like everybody in this town. But apparently there's like quite a bit of infected people out here. So I don't think that we'll be able to harvest or get any seeds or anything of that nature right now. So I'm just going to have everybody. Okay, Alan, can you clean that up, please? I got to remember all my people's names. And Wade is up here. Looks like he's just kind of checking things out. And he could go look at some things and just go check out some things. I mean, it would be nice if they need to treat. But it says, yeah, you need to have a... Use this social referral to this object after providing... See, I think we need, like, doctors and stuff in order to have all this stuff. But it makes for good scenery. Yep. So, uh, yeah. I'm just checking out everything really quickly just to see how. I don't even know how we get up here. Is there anything we can use up here? I don't think so. I don't think there's anything that we can use up here. But I really like this lot. And uh, really quickly, I guess I'll show you guys where I got this lot from the creator and everything. Because uh, I cannot take credit for this lot at all. But um, let's see. I need to go... Uh, where is it at? Where is it at? Um, I'm probably looking right at Okay, here it is. The Walking Dead Inspired Prison. It's made by Middle Earth's Elm, I guess. Um, so very, very cool. Like I said, the only thing I did was, uh, of course, I placed it on that huge lot. And I made it a little bit bigger and added that lake. And I took, uh, I think there was like TVs and stuff in it. So I took all that out because I didn't want them to have the... Um, the luxuries of like, you know, I mean, it is prison, you know what I mean? So, uh, is she, what is she doing? I always look like she's cleaning up here. Okay. So she's cleaning up. Uh, looks like Alan, uh, did we find any food worth anything? I don't know if we did. Okay. Oh, you know what? Look like she just threw everything away. I could have swore I dragged it into the, um, so she wants to get to know Alan. I definitely want to work on their whims. Uh, not so much the career stuff. She wants to hug someone and buy a toy. We can't buy a toy. So really quickly, I'll have her go um, talk to Alan here and get to know him. I mean, she is... Uh-oh, where did Alan go? Where did he go? He disappeared. Oh, so they're like all in here, like checking out the stuff. Let's get to know Alan really quickly. Um, looks like Spencer's working on his homework. And look like he wants to get to know Alan too. Like, I guess they're all like flocking towards Alan because I guess they kind of feel like he will be more of the person that'll kind of lead them and do what okay he wants to oh no we're not getting a job guy does he want to get to know wow he wants to chat with Alan they're really feeling Alan right now uh let's ask about his day and Dahlia is over here reading um she wants to catch a fish, so I'll have her work on that. That'll be something good for her to work on. So we have this fishing pond over here. I, and there's fish jumping, but I don't know how well it's going to work out. Did she do her homework? Did she do it? I guess she did. Okay. I'm assuming she did her homework. Um, it looks like Aubrey is going to work on... I thought I asked her to go talk with Alan here. Let's go get to know Alan. That's weird. I, I thought I told her to do that. Okay. I'm not sure what that's about. Um, he wants to level up on a herbalism skill. We could bookmark that for sure because he probably will have to get that up and started. But I don't know at what point. Um, I'm just going to be looking around for crops or anything that we can just run out really quickly and harvest. I don't think there's anything that's available and we can't buy... 
any um it takes a while i guess we could probably travel if we wanted to so really quickly let me see alan i think i'm going to take alan and wade i'm going to unlock this door for alan let's allow access to alan and then also allow access we'll get the two patriarchs to kind of go out and i'll have them travel really quickly um and we'll go somewhere where I think we might can find some good crops to um, and really quickly. We're just going to act like they're running. They're going to be running <laughs> to go. And, you know, like I said, there's nobody. There's a garden here. So I think we're going to try to go over here. And he's probably telling him, I know of this garden in Willow Creek. They probably have some things that we could take and uh, plant things of that nature. So this is going to be interesting. That's all I'm going to say about this. <laughs> and I don't know how it's going to play out. Like I did a little bit off camera, like when I was just setting it up just to see how it was going to work. But um, like I said, I really don't know. There is nothing here. Um, thankfully, there aren't any infected people around, but there isn't any crops either that we can harvest. So this kind of sucks. Um, I know it takes a while for crops to become harvestable. And I don't see any right now. So this really sucks. Um, wow, there aren't anything. There's nothing that we could. There's not even any, um, anything that we could dig up. We came over here for nothing. Uh, I could have him rummage through trash cans, I guess. We don't really want to fish. Because like I said, I feel like as soon as we start fishing, um, people are going to come up to us. Uh, so you know what? We're going to probably have to just go on and skedaddle home. I don't see anything that we could use here. So what I'll have him do really quickly is we'll travel to um, one more place uh, that we could go. So, so far so good. We haven't came in contact with any sim, any infected sims. Uh, we could run to the park. I feel like that'll probably be a place where... Um, we might bump into some people. Let's go over here. I feel like this abandoned lot. We'll do a little bit of Willow Creek today. And then we'll just head back home. And if we just got a fish and everything. I want them to be able to make some money though. So that they could um, buy firewood and do all that type of stuff. Because even though we're making money. I know technically we're not going to be able to. I'm going to pause it because I'm so nervous. Like I'm so nervous. You guys have no idea to bump into. a. Okay there's nobody here. Okay, good. There's nobody here. I don't see any harvestables. Oh my goodness. Seriously? There's nothing I could harvest? Um, there is nothing. Um, but there aren't any sims, so that is good. But there is nothing that we could harvest. I don't know if they haven't generated any sims here yet. I could run over here and go rummage, I guess, and have him rummage here see if we could find some seeds or something in the trash can uh, but I really don't see anything and they have this beautiful garden right here but there's nothing oh can I nope nothing is harvestable right here right now nothing oh my goodness this is gonna be harder than I thought so I need y'all to run 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 hurry up before sims before infected sims come um, there was a garbage can right there we could have, but I'm going to see how this one plan, plans out first before we, um, okay, this is so weird. Oh, is that a sim? Nope, that's not a sim. Is that a sim? Okay, <laughs> that is a light pole. I obviously need to go put my glasses on. I thought that was a sim, no lie. There aren't any sims right now. That is good. Oh, there's a car. <laughs> there's a car. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Oh my gosh, guys, quick, 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 quick. Okay, it looks like, did Wade find anything? No, he didn't find anything. Alan is still rummaging. So really quickly, Wade is done with that garbage can. I'm going to have him, I kind of want them to stay together. Can we rummage through that one? Okay, we have to. I'm going to have him rummage really quickly through this one. And then um, Let's try. I'm trying to keep an eye on both of them. I know this is like far away, but I want to make sure. Okay, there's nothing there. Alan did not find anything there, it seems. Oh, no, he did find some food. Okay, he just has a... He must be from him being a glutton. <laughs> I don't want him to rummage for food, though. I want him to rummage for like good stuff. 
Um, all right, so I think, oh, there's some infected Sims right there. All righty. Uh, we're probably going to have to, I'm not going to let him go over there, but uh, definitely Alan's going to, um, I mean, Wade's going to go over here. Come on, Wade. Quick, 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 quick. Alan. Oh, no, 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 no. All right. There's Sims around. So we definitely need to get out of here. Um, so I'm going to have them travel really quickly. Uh, travel. Take him. Take him home. Let's just go home. Uh, so that was a bust. Okay, good. Okay. <laughs> Wiping the sweat off the forehead here. We're just going to go on and go back home um, to Newcrest here. Um, so, wow. I don't know. That wasn't very successful. We found some dirty old salad. That's not going to help. I need to find, uh, hopefully tomorrow we can have some harvestables that we can come over here and plant. Um, man, this is going to be hard. This is going to be super duper hard. I didn't even find any diggable items for us to get for money. Cause we, even if we get fish right now, um, we need to very quickly get inside these gates, go here, and have him go here as well. And then I'm going to lock these doors. Um, there we go. So we're locking the door for everyone. So we're back here. Poor Wade needs to use the body here. So I'm going to have him go use the bathroom. Go use it. Hopefully it'll work because I know there's like a ton of toilets around. Um, did she catch anything? I bet you when I left she didn't. Oh, she did catch a fish. So she did catch a perch. Can we do anything with the perch right now? No, we cannot. Um, I'll have Wade come over here and go fishing really quickly. Um, oh, he needs to use the restroom too. Let's see how this works though, because the bathroom's just like out in the open. So he is able to use the bathroom, but it is out in the open. Maybe later on we can figure out a way to... Um, so when he's done, I'm going to let him come over here and go fishing as well. Maybe we can look for some frogs to sell. You know what? I'll have um, him go look for some frogs. And then her, so, oh, she's over there playing. Go look for frogs. Ooh, there's infected Sims all outside the gate, jogging around. <laughs> Let's just stay right here. Let's just stay over here. There's fish in here, but let's see. I would like for us to get enough money to, I don't want to sell any fish right now. Um, really quickly, I don't know how much the fish, I'm not the fishing, the, um, the fire pit cost. But we probably are going to need to sell some stuff in order to get the fire pit. Uh, yeah, we can't even afford it. It's $450 and $475. So we got quite a bit before we could get that. Uh, it would have been nice to get some something diggable outside of the compound. Um, is that something that we could dig up? It is. It is something that we could dig up there. Uh, and there's a trash can right here. I might have to break my rule of two at a time and let Alan come over here really quickly um, and come grab these things. Uh, yeah, I'm going to break. I'm going to allow access to Alan really quickly and come over here and dig this up and come rummage through this trash can. I don't want to rummage for food, though. I feel like rummaging for food is like a waste. Uh, there's nothing. So I'm going to stop him really quickly so he can come over here. I do that really quickly. I don't know. Okay, so we count a guppy worth five dollars. Not really going to help us. I know, I know you do, but we got it. We got to get this started really quickly. Go dig, 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 dig before Sim, before an infected Sim. All right, and then let's. Go. Oh, oh no, Sims are coming. Sims are coming. Go, 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 go here. God, I made him run there. Run, 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 run. Go, 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 quick, 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 quick. Go, quick, quick, quick. Alan, if you don't get back, dude. Alan, get back. Run, 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 run. Okay, he's running. Run, 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 run. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Keep, oh my God, he's running like so slow. To me. <laughs> I am so nervous for him. Get inside the gates, dude. All right, really? Go get inside the gates and then go use the bathroom. I'm going to lock the door for everyone. All right, so right now he has, let's see, um, some mac and cheese. Okay, so we did find, oh, no, there's nothing on there. Are you serious? So you give me an option for a plate, but there's nothing on there. There's nothing anybody can eat off there. All right, let's extract this fossil. Um, 
and then we'll see how much we'll get for that. Did she find any frogs? No, she did not. I'll just have her come over here and clean this stuff up. She's going to probably get tired of Alan soon. Did he find anything? No. She got a fish and he got two fish. But other than that, we have nothing. So I guess we're going to have to go on and sell these fish. Um, but nobody found any frogs. Well, that sucks. I'm going to have her go back over here and go fishing. Um... They're going to get tired of me pretty soon, barking orders for them. But I am going to go on and wrap up this part right here. We had to not have a successful first day. Um, she wants to get to know. Oh, she wants to cloud gaze with Alan. Okay. But um, we are going to be working on their relationships and things of that nature. And see, that's what I'm afraid of, too, is eventually we're going to this whole fit. I mean, there's fish jumping around, but it says that the fish are too crafty. So we probably will have to venture out every once in a while and go fishing. Um but oh boy i don't know i was hoping that maybe we could find he's gonna go eat chips oh i'm sorry i'll have aubrey go fishing a little bit and maybe um uh, is he using the restroom there is a bathroom over here with some privacy so they could always go in here if they need privacy oh my goodness alan seriously dude what is he eating? And that's another thing I'm afraid of too. He's eating chips. Oh, my poor fish are going to, I mean my fish, <laughs> my poor Sims are going to starve to death. Uh, this is worth $50. So that's not horrible. The only thing about me getting that money right now is hopefully they won't use it for anything. Other. I should have probably saved it until we had enough for the, um, for the, what you call it. Uh, matter of fact, let me see. Did he catch? He caught fish worth five and five, so ten. So that we're not nowhere near. Yeah, we're not nowhere near what we need here. But um, yeah, I feel bad for them already, though. I do. We're not. We're not doing. We're not doing too good right now. So I am going to wrap up this part and see you guys next time. Like I said, this will probably be like something that I'll do once a week. Um, only because I have other LPs going on, but I really, really, really wanted to do this. And um, so to me, it's a lot of fun thinking about The Walking Dead. And right now, Walking Dead is off right now for the little mid-season thingamajig. And um, my cable provider actually lost access to AMC. And I'm not happy about that at all. So I'm in the process of looking for... I know that's so crazy. I'm like looking for another way to have... Um, my uh, AMC so I don't, I don't know how that's going to work out but anyway I feel like this will be a nice little I mean it's not the same of course but it'll be a nice little way to get my Walking Dead fix by kind of playing it um, but they got it kind of easy right now and I don't know what we're going to do when bills come in electricity starts going off and things of that nature I don't, I don't know how that's going to work but we'll figure it out once it happens so Definitely we'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Bye.